Hey there, mamas, and for our transition out of cloth diapering month and into some other stuff, we're going to be doing a sort of portable travel changing pad, which can also be used as just a waterproof pad to put down on the bed underneath your baby, or it can be used for a nursing pad to put down, like if you're side lay nursing so that you don't leak on the bed or have the baby leak on the bed. Um, it's just gonna be one layer of terry one layer of pull, and then I've got some fleece to stop the terry and the pull from wicking on the edge. There are a few ways you could do this. You could also do pull along the edge and do like a binding, or you could do fleece along the edge and do like a binding, but I'm gonna do it just really simply. I'm gonna take my inner, which is gonna be my terry, and then set aside the pull for now. And I've cut mine to about 16 inches by 21 inches, I think. Just fairly small so that it's good for a travel changing pad. And then I've just got an inch and a half wide strips of fleece here that are at least, you know, at least long enough for it. They're, they're longer, I didn't really measure them. And I'm just going to be taking the long sides and the short sides. This is a shorter piece. And I'm just going to put the outer layer of the fleece toward the outer layer of the terry. This is a double-sided terry, so both sides are the same. But there are terries that are just one-sided. You could also just use like an old kitchen towel or, you know, any old towel at whatever dimension that you want and repurpose it for this. I'm using the retail terry because this is thinner. And I don't want this to be really bulky because I'm going to be mailing this to a friend. And for use in a diaper bag, you know, for travel type thing or a, or a portable type thing, you don't want it to be the heavier towel terry. This is more like, you know, like a, this is more like a bar rag thickness of terry. And then I'm, I'm going to use my serger, but you don't have to. You could use just a sewing machine. I like using the serger when I can, you know, when I can get away with it because it's just faster and it cuts as I go. And I'm going to be doing side to side first and then top and bottom second so that my seam goes across one. You could do a pretty triangle, you know, like angled seam together if you wanted to. You can really put it any way that you want. The whole point is that I just want to have my fleece on the edge so that it's got a nice protective layer before it gets to the pole so it doesn't wick. And if you wanted, you could use a cute fleece for this, or a colored terry. You can use a printed pole or a colored pole. Like you could do a pink terry and, you know, a printed edge on your fleece. And then like a pink pole if it was for like a girl and they wanted to do like the colored theme baby shower or something like that. Or you could just do a cute print all the way around. So you could totally just have done this with a straight stitch. You don't need to worry about the fraying of the terry cloth with the straight stitch even because this part's gonna be inside, it's gonna be hidden. So if you wanted to just use a straight stitch and do it like you were quilting, you could do this the same way. And if you wanted to round your corners a little bit, you could do that too. My pull is cut two inches longer in each direction just to make up for this trim edge. So I've got I've got the, you know, base terry piece and then the pole is 2 inches longer in each direction and then I've got my little 1 plus inch trim on the sides. Mine's 1 and a half inches just to make sure I have enough. And then you're just going to lay them face to face. And you're going to sew them together leaving a turning hole. And then turn and top stitch.
Now you're just going to turn it through your turning hole. I left a hole that's just a little bigger than my hand. If your nursery has a color theme, you could do this in the color theme of your nursery. You don't have to use towel in the middle either. Like you could use a layer of bamboo fleece or, you know, a layer of flannel. It's just something that's not completely slick. Something that'll be absorbent and natural and washable and gentle against a baby's skin, but also not too bulky. You don't want it to be too heavy. And then now that you've got it turned, it's just a little pad with pull on one side. We're just gonna close it up like we do anything and then top stitch around and close it up with our top stitching. And we're just gonna use a pretty wide straight stitch. Make sure that you're using either a ballpoint or a Microtex needle and polyester thread. Um, you don't have to be super, super careful because there is the fleece on the edge so there shouldn't be too much wicking all the way to the edge where the top stitching is. And we're just gonna top stitch around right near the edge just to hold it flat and to close up that turning hole. So now it's all top stitched, nice and even. You can see the back side. And if you wanted to make something like a puppy pad or an older dog pad or something like that for in the house and you wanted some actual absorbency, you could always use more layers of absorbency in the middle. This is just like a, like a mattress pad protector. This is just a protector. It's not gonna be enough to really absorb much. But if you wanted to do like two layers of absorbency throughout or something like that, then you'd still have this nice thin edge to sew through because of the fleece at the edge, but you could totally do like a reusable washable puppy pad. But yeah, I mean, something like this is super, super simple. You could also do the thing where they do with um, travel sleeping bags and they sew a loop of elastic onto one side. And then when you roll it up onto that side, the elastic then wraps around it. So we could do something like that. That might be fun. Why don't we just take a piece of elastic? We could just take our piece of elastic and we can see how long we need it to be. And roll this up. And then if it gets soiled, it'll be, you know, held nice and tight. It won't get anything else dirty. And then on this one side, we're going to put our little loop of elastic there. We're going to do it the right size so that It'll then fit around. You could also use a ribbon or a snapping piece or a piece of fabric with, with a piece of Velcro. I don't like using Velcro with Terry though because that seems like a disaster waiting to happen. So I'm just going to take this here and I'm going to sew this down. And this is totally optional. This is just me kind of messing around with different ideas. But it's a neat idea. Just reminds me of the sleeping bags that my kids have where they have the built-in little loops. And I'm just going to sew this down right at the edge here. And I'm going to use the zigzag stitch stop it from fraying. And if you wanted to put some sort of a label or a tag, 
right underneath that point, that'd be a really great place to put your little pretty, pretty decorative personalized tag. And now when you go to fold it up, you just have that side toward the end. And then we just wrap that around. Since it's elastic, it stretches over the top. And now you've got your little travel roll-up self-contained either changing pad or nursing pad or just a little waterproof barrier to put down underneath your baby. Or make it thicker and make it a puppy pad. Happy sewing. <laughs>